Hello everyone, my name is Francisco Cardoso. I was about to record one of my boring chroma key videos and then I felt more Venezuelan than ever. So I wanted to have some arepas. The problem is I ran out of flour. So you'll have to come with me and get some. I made a horrible mistake in my last video. I said prohibited fruit when I meant forbidden fruit. So I just want to say I'm sorry for my broken English. Other than that, I'm really happy and excited because my last video received a lot of love from you guys. So I want to give some of that love back to you. Ignis Ivan, Nestor Nava, Mari Medina, Dayana Pae, Kelly Crandall, Luis Gonzalez, Michael Lynch, Christopher Martinez, and of course my beautiful and loved sister, Evelitza Cardoso. I am really sorry if I didn't mention everyone, but know that I'm reading your comments, I'm seeing your likes and shares, and I, and I really appreciate it. We are already 79 people subscribed as of February 12, 2018. We are 21 people away from 100. We can do that. We can do it. We can get to 100 subscribers. So if you haven't done so yet, this is the moment. Take some time to subscribe. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry though. This time I don't think I'm gonna wait for the arepas. And I'm almost getting to the place where I normally do the grocery shopping. Who am I fooling? And I'm almost getting to the place where Christopher does the grocery shopping. I just give him the money and sometimes not even that. Yeah, it's true, I don't know how to take care of a house. I miss my mom. This is such a big space. The flower can literally be anywhere. If I were a flower, where would I hide? Oh my God, I see it from here. I see it. Yeah, oh my God, I'm so excited. This is a flower that you have to use if you want to make Venezuelan arepa. They normally sell these two versions. There's the white corn flower and the yellow corn flower. We normally use the white one, but today I feel like I want to try this one. So I'm going to take this. Yeah. Right now, I'm about to cry. And if you saw my last video, you'll know why. This is a dream come true. And this is all I'm going to need to make the arepa reina bebiada. It's a particular kind of arepa. If you think I know what I'm doing, think again. Kitchen and I are not very good friends. Guys, I'm being serious right now. I'm really hungry. I really, really need an empanada de pabellón. Where can I find those? Let me get a bacon and cheese in a bagel. Not an empanada de pabellón, but it'll do. You know, in New York City, bacon and cheese is one word. Bacon and cheese, it's just one word. Welcome to my kitchen. I have here all I need for doing this. Flour, of course. Mayo. Avocado. And chicken. As I told you before, I am not an expert. This is not my area of expertise. But I am Venezuelan and this is something that runs through our veins. I'm gonna fill it with a little bit of water. You need to add some salt. I normally use my finger to do this. This is my technique to see if it's salty enough. What I do basically is I just take one drop, put it in my hand and perfect. It's time for the flour. So now very carefully to try to add the flour to the mix of water and salt that you just made. What I normally do is I just add a little bit of flour and I try to mix it and then I add more flour if I need it. I don't do the whole amount at once because then it creates like little things. So you just have to turn on this. Low flame, not very high. You add a little bit of oil. <laughs> My mom used to do this and it was really funny. She would take a little bit of the flour and she would make um, some kind of a thing here and she would say that it was a limpion. That was the name that she used to use. I don't know if that's the correct name, but it was. It would translate something in the lines of cleaner. And what she does is literally she cleans the pan with this. And it was really fun because then she would give this to us, the kids, and we would play with it like we were making arepas with a limpion. So once it's ready, now it's time for you to make the arepas. Basically, you just grab a bunch of the mix that we just made, you make a ball, and then you start clapping. Moms are great doing this. They get perfectly round arepas. Yeah! And now, this, you just put it in the pan. Chicken. You want to cut it into pieces, put it here, add some water. I'm not sure if I have to do this, but I'm gonna add some salt. And you put it there. 
So from now on, you just have to be very careful with the arepas because they can get born. You, you try to move them very gently, and when they move by themselves, like you don't have to force it, then it's time for you to flip them. And then you flip them over and over again for a while. So this is what I mean, you can move very easily. So when that happens, flip it. When they're ready, you just get them out of here. And you'll know they're ready because it's made like a drum sound. Every Venezuelan would agree with me that these are not the most beautiful, the most presentable arepas, but that's what you get when mom's not around. Now it's time for the stuffing. For that I'm gonna get the chicken. You have to get it out of the water. Once it's here, you can use a fork to shred it. That's how it's supposed to look. Put it in the bowl. I'm gonna add a bigger one. Now it's time for the best part. Just cut it into pieces inside the same bowl with the chicken. Add some mayo and mix it. Tasty. Finally, you just open your arepa, put the stuffing inside, and we're ready to go. Venezuela is a beautiful country north of South America. I like to think of her as a mother, but that beautiful lady is now being tortured, violated, and raped by the people who are supposed to take care of her, by their own children. Venezuela has been kidnapped by a handful of people with power, and I would like this to help raise awareness of what's going on there. Go online, do your research, and spread the word. Thank you, Venezuela, for giving us the arepas. Buen provecho.